Hey guys, welcome back to Colton Screwers. I'm Colton Smith. In today's video, we're going to be redoing my 20 gallon tank. I'm just putting rock, sand, and water in it, getting the cycle started. And yeah, let's get into the video. First things first, let's head to Top Shelf Aquatics, get our rock and sand. See you there. Alrighty, this is what it looks like so far. Um, the glass is dirty just because I've been moving the rock and sand around. This cable right here is going into my bucket of salt right here. Um, I use fresh RO water and then the classic Red Sea salt. I got a little Maxi Jet in here, which is circulating the salt around to get it mixed to that 1.025 cylinder. This is the salt I've been using, uh, just the classic Red Sea salt. Um, this is what I've been using and had good luck with it so far. Um, as you can see, my 10 gallon and then my dad's 150. We both use the same salt. Um, so yeah, we're gonna be using that for the 20 gallon today. It's also in the puffer tank there. There's Fred. Um, but yeah, let's get the salt in here. Here's the tank about a day, two, two days later. Um, I do add about a cap of Microbacter every day. Um, one cap treats 25 gallons, so I've been doing basically a cap full. This is it, Microbacter 7. Um, the tank looks really nice. I might add a little bit more sand just because the sand bed's really thin. Um, I didn't really add that much. I'm gonna add some of my older sand from my old tank. So that way I get that uh, bacteria, good bacteria as well. And I think the rock structure came out really, really nice. Um, I definitely like it a lot. So most of y'all are probably wondering, Colson, why did you restart your 20 gallon? Um, I really, honestly, the tank kind of crashed a little bit ago. Um, I can show some footage of what it looked like before the crash, um, but I lost a few of my SPS frags, so it was kind of a bummer. And I already hated the rockscape. So I decided just to set it up again, redo it. It's also a lot of fun just to kind of start a new tank. So I kind of just started from scratch, um, made my rock structure, which I am very happy with how it turned out. I am future plan planning going to have like SPS in there mainly. It's gonna be a mixed reef as well, but I'm probably gonna have a lot of SPS in there. I know it's a nano tank, so it's gonna be a little bit difficult, but I do have a doser as well. So we're gonna set that up. Yeah, I do think the rockscape turned out really nice. Um, let me know what y'all think down in the comments below. But uh, yeah, let's get back into the video. So for now, most of my corals are in my 20 or 10 gallon. Um, as you can see, I got my pot of gold torch, all my A-cans, Zoas, everything's pretty much in here. Um, do my little button scully, everything's doing really well in here. I got a, a um, where is he? A little geometric hawkfish that's somewhere in here. I um, moved him in here. And then uh, there's also a rainbow basslet, which is already in my 10 gallon. He's right there. Um, he's very small. When he gets a little bit bigger, he'll be moving into my 20 gallon as well. Oh, there's the geometric hawkfish. You don't really see him too often, but in the 10 gallon, I see him all the time, which is pretty cool. Um, yeah, most of the fish went, or most of the coral went in here. One fish went in here. My yellow chorus ras went in the puffer tank with Fred. This is Fred the puffer, if anyone was wondering. Yeah, all my rock went in the, tw in the 40 gallon. All of the SPS that did survive is now on a frag rack in my dad's 150 gallon roof tank right here. Um, beautiful tank, but yeah, most of the SPS that did survive is in here. 
most of it um, doesn't look the greatest right now just because it did go through kind of a crash but his SPS looks fantastic um, got a lot of colonies in here a lot of zoas a lot of trachees clams got a lot of coral since the last time I showed this tank but these are my favorite agonis and that's also my agani and then my two plate corals are in here Alrighty, so this is the equipment I've been use or I'm going to be using, and I have been using for the sink. Um, in the second chamber, um, I have a Aquatic Life skimmer. Um, I've been using this for a while on my previous tank. This is actually rated for a 30 gallon, so it's a little bit overkill. Um, I do love it a lot. I actually got to the point where I didn't have to do water changes at all by using the skimmer and just having a really cycled tank. Um, for lighting, I have the Mars LED lights. I love them. I know they probably get a lot of hate, but I mean, I grow SPS with them. I've had it for about, I don't know, five or six years now. Um, on either side of my uh, tank, I just have two socks, two filter socks. Um, I'm probably gonna replace them with custom caddies later. I'm not too sure. Um, I might end up switching the two power heads I have in here as well with like some spread filters or like the Spin, spin streams, which I do have on my 10 gallon here. Um, I have a battery backup um, air bubbler here, so when the power turns off, they will kick on and make sure my fish and coral stay alive by putting oxygen in the tank. Um, I'm going to be putting a Nero 3 in here. Um, I do want to make this an SPS tank, so I'm going to need a lot of flow. That's why I kind of went with the heavier sand, just because I know I'm going to have a lot of flow, so the thicker sand won't get kicked up as much. Um, yeah, so those are the things I've been using and what I'm going to be using. Um, I also put in Microvector um, every day. Other than that, honestly, the equipment's pretty low. I don't have much. Um, I like to keep my tank very uh, simple. Um, I also have a heater on here in the back. It's just a titanium heater with a thermometer on it. And that's about it. Alrighty guys, that's gonna wrap up today's video. Hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, let me know down in the comments below. Also, um, I'm gonna try to make this a series, so stay tuned, turn on your post notifications. I'm gonna make it a playlist. Um, so yeah, definitely look out for the next video on my 20 gallon. Till next time, peace. <laughs>